I'm not complaining. I often see people complain on the subreddit and on Discord that solo dungeons got nerfed and they are very bad loot and you shouldn't even bother doing them. I remember doing a free to play challenge uh, 6 months ago or so and all I did was spam solo dungeons pretty much so naturally I decided to re-attempt this challenge to get a rough idea of, uh, you know, are solo dungeons still worth it. Turns out this is a very complex task because the mobs drop silver and sometimes even loot. And because I'm not autistic enough to track every single silver drop from every single mob for every single soul dungeon that I did, what I've decided to do is just track the chest instead, which is only a little bit autistic. But before we start though, big shout out to Bomber3 because I needed more data to make this video complete, so I might have used some of the chests in his video. What I have is the data for 100 tier 7 solo dungeons and 100 tier 8 solo dungeons and here you can see the results. Now this is the part of the video where I inhale a large dose of copium and say that we need a bigger sample size. No, but <laughs> really though the tier 8 loot is supposed to be better on average. So as you can see even with a sample size of 100 chests here it is not definite evidence to suggest that tier 7 dungeons are better. Obviously that's not the point of this video. It's just an example to show that you can get lucky and you can get unlucky. The portion that I opened myself were indeed very lucky though and the ninth chest I got was a legendary so your results might vary but I did get enough silver to make premium within my first three days of playtime. Now what is the verdict Quasars? Tell me, should I quit my job and start doing solo dungeons full time? The answer is no. At least, no, not until you make enough money to buy one of these toilet gaming chairs, make sure to stock up on food and water, put up a 90 second timer next to your monitor and then you can hand in your resignation letter. Buy order a stack of solo dungeon maps. You might be asking which tier? Well, it doesn't matter. Get your light crossbow, tier 4 poisons, avalonium beef stew and then get going. Alright, so what's the point of this video really? Personally, I don't know. Maybe there is no point. but. I had to make a new video so I can get more ad revenue so I can pay rent. Either way, here are some of the highlights of this premium in 3 days challenge. Hope you enjoy the clips, like and subscribe for more content and I hope you have a good one. Or even the life steal. 150k as you can see, pretty good, also we got this loot which is good. We can definitely fight this guy. I'll invite him. Do I backstab him though? Bro, you think I'm dumb? <laughs> you think I was born yesterday, buddy? Unlucky. He did it at a very bad time. Very bad time for sure. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Five hundred K. It's double your money, bro. Okay. 
There he is. He didn't see you, or? He's melee. Okay. He's, he saw you. Yeah, he did, he did, he did. Oh! Just bop your demon thing. Oh. You shouldn't stand still there. He's just gonna demon thing you there. Fucking him over. No, he... oh, he's dead. Right. Oh. That wasn't too hard. <laughs> I'll be aiming. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're... That's not nice. Show his total thing. You're fucking retarded. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're actually. He's ah. calling his friend. Yeah, I got him. Get fucked. See, like this is why you have a pocket in this pot always. I think. Yeah, yeah he saw me, right? <laughs> He had to. Saw you. Yeah, he, he reset. He pressed one. All right, guys. So we have one hour left until the three-day premium, the free uh, three-day premium period runs out. As we can see, 14 hours, 20 minutes of playtime on this brand new character. And if I log in, I can show you. We do indeed have enough loot. We have currently 6.6 .6 mil liquid silver. I just went back from my last solo dungeon trip. Right here we have, well, let's round it up to 3 mil. It's like we have, that's like 9.6 mil. And premium right now costs 9.6. 9, 9 also, I can always sell a set, but that's not a good idea. <laughs> um, but the mo more important thing though is that there is a lot of stuff in the market still. Um, but just round it to one mil. It's a little over one mil, but I'll just say one mil. So when this stuff eventually sells, you'll be easily able to afford premium. Um, that's what I'm gonna do. The last thing I'm gonna do before I log off is uh... there we go. Everything was thrown on the market, as we can see. At least the tomes sold pretty much instantly. We have 7.76 mil. Our set is 7, looks like say 7, 70k. We're not gonna sell the set obviously, like you shouldn't be doing it anyway as a new player. And we just threw a lot of stuff in the market, which once all of this sells, we'll be able to buy premium. So while I don't have uh, the money to buy premium, I think this was still a worthwhile. Uh, experiment I suppose to see because once again the point of this video was it just uh, because there's a lot of people who are saying you know so dungeons are horrible for loot but I think they're not that bad to be honest they're they're still a decent option for new players a very safe option and uh, it's, it's pretty accessible I would say and obviously I took a lot of risks during this run uh, some stuff that new new players should not have went for, for sure, but yeah. And I got a little lucky a few times, I got two golden chests during this run, which obviously you might not even get a single one, you know, it's RNG. So it's always RNG, but on average, I do think it's not bad. I think you can probably get around one mil per hour. Um, I think that's not... Impossible. Maybe it's a little less. I think it's one mil if you count silver bags. I do think that is uh, true. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this mini series video thingy. And uh, subscribe for more content. Le leave a like if you enjoyed. And I hope you have a good one.